Good day everyone! I am Lester and I'm going to share to you the knowledge about the language of relations and functions. Here are the learning goals that I want every single one of us to achieve throughout this video. First is to introduce the language of relations and functions. Second is to understand the topic thoroughly through solving a problem. And lastly, is I want all of us to have fun in learning language of relations and functions. First, what is a relation and a function? A relation, by definition, is the relationship between sets of ordered pairs. The first set being called the domain, and the second one is called the range. A function, on the other hand, is the relation where each element in the domain or in the input is related only to one value in the range or in the output. So, if our domain is related to two or more values in the range or in the output, then that is not a function. Now that I've introduced to you what language of relations and function is, Help me solve this problem. Let set C equals to the elements of set B. Negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 1, 2, and 3. And define a relation S from set C to set D as follows. For all elements of C times D, X and Y are elements of S, meaning that 1 over x minus 1 over y is an integer. Okay, let us all remember that an integer number can be negative, 0, or positive. So long as it does not have a fraction value or decimal value. Here are the questions. A. Is 2 relation s to 2 is negative 1 relation s to negative 1 is 2 and 2 an element of s is 2 and negative 2 an element of s better write s as a set of ordered pairs now for the first question to know if the two values 2 and 2 are an element of relation s the formula for it is 1 over x minus 1 over y. So for the x, we substitute it with the number 2 and for the y, 2 also. So 1 half minus 1 half equals to 0. And 0 is an integer. So the answer is yes. For the second question, negative 1 and negative 1, we also do the same process. So, 1 over negative 1 minus 1 over negative 1, the answer will also be 0. And 0 is an integer, so it is a yes. For the third, in item A, 2 and 2, so we will substitute it also with the same form. 1 half minus 1 half equals to 0 again and 0 is an integer so 2 and 2 are an element of relation s. Now for the last question for item a the x and y values are 2 and negative 2 so 1 half minus 1 over negative 2 the answer is 1 and 1 is also an integer so the answer is yes, 2 and negative 2 is an element of set S. Letter B, write S as a set of ordered pairs. So, set S equals to negative 3 and negative 3, parentheses, negative 2 and negative 2, negative 2 and 2, negative 1 and negative 1, negative 1, 1, 1, negative 1, 1, 1, 2, and negative 2, 
2, 2, and last, 3 and 3. For the last two questions, write the domain and codomain of S and draw an arrow diagram for set S. So, the domain and codomain will also be what the set C and set D contains as an element. So, for the domain, for S equals negative 1, negative 2, negative 1, 1, 2, and 3. For the codomain, the same as the values under the domain. Negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 1, 2, and 3. And for the last, draw an arrow diagram for set S. To draw an arrow diagram, place the domain on the left side and the codomains on the right side. And the answer that we've got on the third question, letter C, the set of ordered pairs, look at it and you will be able to draw an arrow diagram out of it. So here's what I've done. So what did you notice about the arrow diagram? Remember what I said earlier? A relation is only a function only if the domain is related to only one value in the range. So in our arrow diagram, the domain is related to two or more values in the codomain. So that is not a function. Thank you for listening and thank you for watching and I hope that I was able to introduce to you and to teach you the language of relations and functions. I hope you had fun as much as I did. Thank you and see you again.